A dozen NFL teams have a chance heading into 2024 to earn their way into the history books. Are the Texans, the Texans are just Super Bowl contenders? Come on now. They unstoppable! <laughs> yeah, they are Super Bowl contenders! It's time to take a hard look at these ringless teams and see which ones have a legitimate shot at rewriting history, and which ones are likely to keep their dusty trophy cabinets intact for another year. Number 12. Carolina Panthers Despite having two Super Bowl appearances to their name during a relatively short franchise lifespan, as Carolina is one of the most recent expansion teams, the Panthers are an easy choice for last on this list. There's just nothing about this Carolina Panthers team that inspires a whole lot of confidence heading into 2024. Looking back at their brutal 2023 campaign, which admittedly was marred by the growing pains of rookie quarterback Bryce Young, there were just issues all over the organization. Not just on the field in terms of the lackluster supporting cast, but also the way that they made decisions and operated throughout, starting at the top with owner David Tepper. It is nearly impossible for the team to turn it around when there is such misalignment running rampant throughout their ranks. And the reality is, is that the Panthers are still in the midst of a rebuild, and while Young is expected to improve, based so solely on the fact that it just can't get any worse, the overall roster just doesn't stack up against the league's top contenders. It's hard to envision a reality in which Carolina can make a legitimate push for the Super Bowl this year. Number 11, Tennessee Titans. Despite being a consistent playoff contender over the past few seasons, the Tennessee Titans find themselves near the bottom of this list. And it's for good reason. For starters, head coach Mike Vrabel, who many believe to have been the linchpin of stability in a generally chaotic organization, was jettisoned out of town after a disappointing 2023 campaign where the offense never really seemed to click. Now, granted, his squad was hampered by a litany of injuries, including the quarterback position, but alas, the Titans brass decided that they'd seen enough. Between the split with Vrabel and Derrick Henry, the longtime All-Pro running back, signing with the Baltimore Ravens, the Titans are now heading into 2024 with more questions than answers. The Titans have the feel of a team in transition without any real clear direction or identity. Will Levis showed some promise last year, but the train kind of came off the tracks as the season wore on. It is hard to see them even making the playoffs, let alone making any real noise of it. Number 10, Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings have had their moments over the years, particularly under Kevin O'Connell, but heading into 2024, the outlook is not particularly rosy. For starters, they're entering a new era post-Kirk Cousins. Obviously, Cousins wasn't the perfect franchise quarterback, but he was as competent as it gets. And we think that many will have a very sobering experience once they start watching Sam Darnold take meaningful NFL snaps for them. If Vikings fans thought that the 2023 season was a roller coaster, whoo, just wait until they get acquainted with the Darnold experience. There is still some hope that their star-studded offense, led by Justin Jefferson, can carry them. There's only so much that one wide receiver can actually do. Especially with the fact that his running mate, Jordan Addison's availability, is constantly in question because of the issues he keeps causing off the field. The Vikings defense also has major holes, especially after the departure of Daniel Hunter. Let's face it, Minnesota's Super Bowl prospects look very bleak. At best, they could sneak into the playoffs as a wild card team, but they really aren't true contenders. So they expect their Super Bowl drought to stay alive another year. Number 9. Arizona Cardinals With Kyler Murray missing significant time last year, the Cardinals were never going anywhere, and the roster's flaws were on full display as they struggled to stay competitive. There's some renewed optimism that Murray's return to full health will spark a turnaround this year, especially if the addition of Marvin Harrison Jr. through the draft, who many expect to be a generational talent at wide receiver. However, the Cardinals still have significant issues on both sides of the ball and are a major work in progress. So don't go penciling them into the big game anytime soon. Number 8. Cleveland Browns The Cleveland Browns entered last year with high hopes, but were met with almost immediate disappointment as their high price tag, controversial quarterback, Deshaun Watson, just continued to be a major flop. He was expected to elevate the team, but instead, the team actually fared better once he was finally forced out of play by injuries. Now obviously, Cleveland still has some serious talent with guys like Miles Garrett on the defensive side of the ball, and Amari Cooper split out wide on offense. But without a legitimate starting quarterback, this team is in trouble, particularly when you factor in just how much they've invested in their lemon of a QB. Number 7. Jacksonville Jaguars It wasn't perfect, but Trevor Lawrence, who had a rocky start to his NFL career, has started to really take form under the 
the tutelage of Doug Peterson. In the first half of 2023, Lawrence showed why he was the first overall pick, as he had the Jags humming and looking like they were headed to the playoffs. But of course, the train went off the tracks from there, but hey, still, the signs are there. And with weapons like Travis Etienne and Christian Kirk at his disposal, we expect a fully healthy Lawrence to take a major step forward this year and build on what he did in the first half of 2023. Defensively, the Jaguars are young but hungry and steadily improving. Linebacker Josh Allen continues to be a force off the edge, and Tyson Campbell is emerging as a legit shutdown corner. If Peterson can stir the drink correctly, the Jaguars have the potential to be one of the most balanced teams in the NFL. Number 6. Atlanta Falcons The Atlanta Falcons are going to be one of the most interesting teams to follow heading into the season. There is no doubt that they were among the most talented offenses in the league last year, at least in terms of skill position players, with guys like Kyle Pitts at tight end, Drake London at wide receiver, and B. John Robinson coming out of the backfield. But the statistical output was simply not there, in large part because of the abysmal quarterback play from both Desmond Ritter, the team's former third-round pick, and his replacement, Taylor Heineke, who was essentially picked off the scrap heap. There is also a contingent of fans and analysts that put blame on former head coach Arthur Smith, but it's hard to say that he should have been calling the games more aggressively based on the guys he had under center. But in any case, the Falcons brought in a new coaching regime led by Raheem Morris, and they hedged their bets with two great options at quarterback, acquiring proven veteran Kirk Cousins via free agency and Washington standout Michael Penix Jr. through the draft. The move was heavily scrutinized, but this is a franchise that was determined to leave quarterback purgatory. The defense was a little bit up and down last year, but with Morris's pedigree, they should take a step forward, and we could see this team really bring it together and contend in the NFC. That said, a Super Bowl run is still a major long shot, but they are miles ahead of where they were last year. Number 5. Los Angeles Chargers Over the years, the Chargers have become a franchise that has become synonymous with unfulfilled potential. And 2023, it was the same story, a season plagued by injuries and inconsistencies that ultimately ended in disappointment. But this year, it could be different. It could be different because of Mr. Jim Harbaugh, the human smelling salt that they brought in to be the head coach and rid the Chargers organization of its losing ways, you know, kind of like what he did at the University of Michigan. Look, LA has all the talent all over the field, especially on defense, which is Harbaugh's forte. So if he can rewire the Chargers culture, they have all the pieces already in place to make a deep run. And they just might surprise a lot of teams this year. Number 4. Buffalo Bills While there has been a lot of changes in Western New York, namely Stephon Diggs' departure, the Bills remain a contender as long as Josh Allen remains the engine that drives this team. His dual threat ability as both a passer and runner makes him one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the league. Of course, his highly aggressive style also leads to turnovers, which has been a thorn in the Bills' side, but that is neither here nor there. Someone is going to need to fill the void that Diggs left as Allen's number one target, and the Bills did lose a couple of key players on defense and Jordan Poyer and Tredavious White. But still, with Allen under center, they still have a shot, even being a cursed franchise. Number 3. Houston Texans The Houston Texans have been in rebuild mode ever since the train came off the tracks with Deshaun Watson, but 2023 marked the beginning of a new chapter for the franchise. CJ Stroud, the second overall pick in the draft, was as good as it gets for a rookie quarterback, and he has turned the Texans into real contenders, especially with all the playmakers that he has around him with the likes of Nico Collins, Tank Dell, and oh, that's right, now he's got Stefan Diggs. Defensively, the Texans have made strides as well, with players like Derek Stingley Jr. and Will Anderson Jr. emerging as cornerstone type players. While I might be premature to consider the Texans Super Bowl favorites in 2024, they are undoubtedly a team on the rise, and they have an outside chance at winning this whole thing. Number 2. Cincinnati Bengals Last season was a tough one for the Cincinnati Bengals, as they were missing their number one gun, Joe Burrow, for most of the season. Season. But when healthy, Burrow is among the best QBs in the game, and he has one of the best receiving duos in Jamar Chase and T. Higgins at his disposal, making the Bengals offense a force to be reckoned with. They have come this close to winning it all, and as they head into 2024, they are ready, poised, and hungry as ever to finally bring a Lombardi Trophy to Cincinnati. Number 1. Detroit Lions When you run through the list of Super Bowl ringless NFL teams, there is no squad garnering more excitement than the Detroit Lions. I know. 
crazy. The generally lowly Detroit Lions have somehow managed to climb the ranks and are the team everyone is talking about heading into 2024. But I suppose that's to be expected with all the changes that have taken place in the Motor City during the Dan Campbell era. After a strong finish to 2022 where they managed to play spoiler to Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, Detroit came into the 2023 season on a mission, and they stormed all the way to the NFC Championship game where they were unfortunately edged out by a more experienced 49ers team. Lest we forget though, Detroit led by 17 points before Shanahan's crew ultimately came storming back to win 34-31. But now, heading into this season, many believe that Detroit is well positioned for a legitimate Super Bowl run. It's clear that Jared Goff has found a new lease on life in Motown, and the Lions offense is one of the most explosive in the entire league. The defense, led by former Michigan standout and budding NFL superstar Aiden Hutchinson, is improving, and Campbell has this team believing that they can win it all. But what NFL team that has yet to win a Super Bowl do you think has the best chance to win it in 2024? What do you think we got right here? What do you think we got wrong? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton, and hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.